1992, Nintendo released Mario Paint, a game that wasn't really a game, but a drawing tool, similar to Mac Paint, only without the massive cost of owning a computer. Mario Paint was very fun, but the side items in the game were also very memorable. If you were tired of drawing, you could take a coffee break and try out the minigame Nat Attack. As well, the title screen had some interesting sounds and animations that rewarded you for daring to explore with your mouse. It was a great help to anyone using a mouse for the first time, getting a newcomer quickly oriented. Little did we know that one of the longest running Easter eggs in video games would be first discovered here. If you click the O in the title, everything on screen explodes, scrambles, then reconstitutes itself, after which a short jingle is played. This little melody, 19 notes in length, is known as Totaka's Song, credited to its composer, a member of the Nintendo Sound Team, Kazumi Totaka. In 1992, he was rather new to the company, but his career and profile would grow over the next 30 years to reach the same stature of Hip Tanaka and Koji Kondo, great composers from Nintendo's earliest days who preceded him. Games that followed Mario Paint with Totaka on board featured the same song, in most cases, the song was hidden, often discovered by accessing a secret area, or simply leaving the game on for a certain amount of time. Most of these Easter eggs would go unnoticed, but eventually the dedicated few would piece the puzzle together, that Kazumi Totaka was hiding his now famous tune, leaving the challenge of finding it up to you, the player at home. Not every single game featured Totaka's song, but many have, while others where it has not been found are still believed to have the song hiding somewhere in the game. While Mario Paint is considered the origin point for Totaka's song, there was one instance of the song appearing before then. X, first released for the Game Boy just two months before Mario Paint, features the Easter egg. Though X came first, it took years until it was discovered, when fans realized Totaka's song might just be in every one of his games. All you have to do is make it to Mission 4, and encounter a fake scientist. Then just hang out for exactly 40 seconds. So what other games have Totaka's song? Let's run through all the known instances, and we're going to do it in my favorite order. Chronological. The third game with this easter egg is Kairu no Tame ni Kane wa Naru, often called the frog for whom the bell tolls in English. After the third quest, go to Port Town and enter the new building that appears at this point in the game. Wait inside for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. As an aside, this game features the first mention of the fake company Nintendo, which would show up later in other games and lead to Nintendo registering a trademark for the term. But you already knew that. In Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, get a game over and wait two minutes and 30 seconds to hear the song. In Link's Awakening, there are three versions of the song. First, go to Richard's Villa and wait for two minutes and 30 seconds. The second is only possible in the Japanese version. Enter your save file name as Tota KK and the song will play. It also works in the German version with the name M-O-Y-S-E. The third version exists in game code, but how to access it has never been discovered.
And yes, the Switch remake of this game from 2019 has the song too. If you have a Virtual Boy, you can hear the song in VB Wario Land by finishing the game and then hanging out for 1 minute and 15 seconds after the credits end. In Yoshi's Story for the N64, things are a bit easier. Just start trial mode and on the next screen, wait 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Another side note here, Totaka also provided the voice of Yoshi in this game. Yeah, it's really him singing, We Ate All, after each stage is finished. Mario Artist Talent Studio for the N64 disk drive has the song in one of the demo videos included with the game, the one with the crazy driver. The song is heard as the ugly old lady crosses the road. In Luigi's Mansion, the first ever GameCube game, if you go to the training room controller configuration screen and wait for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, the song will play. In the 3DS remake, you can hear it too, the same way. There is also a piano version in the game code, but how to unlock it is still a mystery. In Animal Crossing, on GameCube, K.K. Slider, the little dog guy, will play the song. It only works if you find him playing on a Saturday night, and you must request the K.K. song. K.K. is supposed to be a representation of Totaka himself, being a musician and all. His name, K.K., is a shorter version of Totakeke, which is the same name used to unlock this song in Link's Awakening. The song is then used as a standard track in Animal Crossing e-reader cards, P13 and P15, during the Who's Done It minigame. In Pikmin 2, you can hear the song by waiting on any treasures salvaged screen for 3 minutes and 50 seconds. You can also hear the song if you enter a cave without having a memory card inside the GameCube by waiting for the same amount of time after the warning screen. These songs can only be heard on the GameCube. Other versions don't have it. Well, hey, the Wii and Switch don't use memory cards, do they? Actually, the Wii does, doesn't it? In Yoshi, Touch and Go for the DS, the windy area in marathon mode plays the song after about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. However, you'll most likely finish the stage before then, so the easiest way to hear the song is to pause the game and wait. In Animal Crossing, Wild World for the DS, if you meet KK at The Roost, you can ask him to play the song again. Same deal in City Folk for the Wii. In that game, you can also hear Totaka's song if you're on the bus and talking to Kappen, but only when he's turned away from you. And like oh so many other Totaka games, you wait a while. No time limit, it just happens. Sometimes.
Xscape, a DSiWare game, is a follow-up to the original X, and just as obscure and forgotten. Just like the original game, find a fake scientist and wait, this time about 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS features KK playing the song yet again. It also appears while waiting, about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, during the loading screen, when connecting to the internet. Better be on a slow connection, or else you'll miss it. In Yoshi's New Island, for the 3DS, wait on World 6 on the main map for about 4 minutes and 50 seconds to hear the song. Or maybe longer, if I wasn't counting correctly. Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U and Switch has Totaka's song as well, even though the man himself did not work on this game. Remember when I said Totaka was also the voice of Yoshi? He voiced Yoshi here as well, and snuck it in. Anywhere in the game where Yoshi's in the crowd, you can hear him, if you listen closely enough. In Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, you can hear the song if you use KK's Amiibo card while designing his home. You do have to play it on the hi-fi yourself, though. How many Animal Crossing games are there? Like a hundred? Well, at least one more. New Horizons on the Switch has the song yet again, played directly from KK, or you can buy it in-game. The song also plays randomly on the radio if you have time to hang out and be lazy all day. That's the full list, but this could always change because there are many, many more games out there where Totaka served as composer, sound director, or something else. Most of the older games have been played to death as well as having the code scanned and sifted through, usually to no avail. Some still hold out hope that new discoveries will be made someday. Some of those games include the Wii Channel Menu, Wii Music, the later Smash Brothers games, and anything with Yoshi, such as Wooly World and Craft World. Some have claimed that song fragments exist in an error message for the old Game Boy Camera, and in Super Mario Odyssey, where Moai Mario will hum different things. However, if it isn't 19 notes and beat for beat, it just doesn't count. There was one time where the obsession with finding Totaka's song went three or four steps beyond crazy. Internet weirdos claimed that the song was hiding in plain sight during the tennis game of Wii Sports, and that the ball bouncing on the court played Totaka's song. Enough frou-frou was made about this that a website called GameTrailers.com put this idea to the test and discovered that, yeah, just maybe, a new easter egg was discovered. Except that, as it turns out, any rhythmic noises can sound just like music if you already have said song queued up in your brain. So if you've just heard Totaka's song, or any song for that matter, the noise will conform to whatever you were thinking of. Game Trailers issued a correction, and then everybody clapped. As for Totaka himself, he will reach the age of 60 in the year 2027, so he's still relatively young and should have many more years of new compositions in the future, hopefully with more great Easter eggs featuring his famous song in tow. And if he doesn't, well, we may never know. 
the secrecy and fun of discovery is what Easter eggs are all about. That will keep the legacy of Totaka's song going long after we are all gone.